welcome to our review on nanoparticles. So the first thing we really need to know about here is the size. So when we're talking about a nanoparticle, we're talking about something that's absolutely tiny. It's between one nanometer and 100 nanometers across. And just to give you an idea of how tiny that actually is, a single human hair has a diameter of approximately 100,000 nanometers. So if we're putting it into standard form, one nanometer is the same as one times 10 to the minus nine meters. When we talk about a nanoparticulate, we're referring to a material that is made from nanoparticles. And what we find is that the actual properties of our nanoparticulate can be very different from that exact same material occurring in bulk. So for example, titanium dioxide is white when it's in bulk, but when it's in its nanoparticulate form, it's transparent. So we've got a very different property there with exactly the same material, just in the different quantity. So why do we actually care about nanoparticulates? And the key reason is that our nanoparticles are actually so small that it makes them incredibly useful in a range of different applications, everything from paints to sunscreens to medicines. So what we actually find is one of these key reasons that they're so useful is because they've got this incredibly large surface area to volume ratio. So because of that, they're incredibly useful as catalysts and as things like self-cleaning windows or self-cleaning ovens. But as with all things that sound really rather impressive and can revolutionize the world, there are also risks we need to consider. So because these things are so tiny, then there is the risk that we may breathe them in and they could be absorbed by the skin or pass into cells. And we don't know the long term effects of these things. They also take a very long time to break down in the environment. And again, we don't know the long term effects of them. And finally, even if they're persisting in the environment, they're not a problem themselves, then we could end up with toxic substances sticking to their surface. So we could end up with a situation where we've got something persisting in the environment with toxic substances adhered to their surface, which could then have knock on effects that we're not sure of at the moment. So hopefully at the end of this review, you do know what a nanoparticle is, the size of them and some of the potential uses and the potential risks of them.